Among the schools impacted in Metro Richmond was Manchester Middle School in Chesterfield, which was closed to staff and students Friday. Thursday night, the principal said police told them about an online message threatening a shooting at the school, and they initially planned for an increased police presence. But by Friday morning, they decided to close the school to allow for more investigation. Chesterfield police say it was a student who reported the threat, and while they continue to look into it, they have found no evidence the threat was credible. Among the reactions to the decision on CBS6's social media post, some credited the student for coming forward and for officials taking it seriously, with several saying you can't second-guess these threats anymore. Chesterfield police also investigated another incident Thursday afternoon, this one involving Falling Creek Middle School. The school system says a student was displaying a BB gun at a bus stop. They say police then spoke to the people involved and took the gun and added there was no active threat to the school and they don't believe the gun was ever on school grounds. In an email to parents, the principal encouraged them to talk with their kids about making good choices to ensure the safety of the school and students. Those situations, just local examples of what was happening around the state after the deadly school shooting in Georgia that left four dead, including Richmond and Hanover Public Schools, who said they would have increased law enforcement at its buildings. Elsewhere in Virginia on Friday, the entire Pulaski County school system was shut down after it says multiple threats were made. Campbell County school leaders say an online image threatened a shooting at Brookville High School and there was an increased police presence there. They say the early investigation indicated the same image had been circulating around the country over the last few days, just with different names attached to it. Meanwhile, Franklin County schools say they also had additional police presence at its schools because of online threats, but add they didn't think they were credible as no specific school or division was mentioned. Meanwhile, a spokesperson for Governor Glenn Youngkin says that he is aware of what he calls these isolated incidents and adds while there is no active threat, he is confident that law enforcement agencies are addressing them appropriately. In Chesterfield County, Cameron Thompson, CBS 6 News.